Hello, Labolda students and families. It's Mrs. Hansen and Ms. Endicott in Student Services. We created this video just to let you know that we've done a little bit of work on presenting the scholarship information on our website a little bit differently. We hope that we've made some improvements to streamline where you look for scholarships, some tools that might be helpful in your search for scholarships, and just an overall kind of framework to guide you through what can be kind of a daunting task, and that is researching and applying for scholarships. Scholarship research and application is the responsibility of students and families. As a student services team, we've put together a file full of local and national scholarships which I'm going to show you today. And we put together a presentation, which we'll touch on a little bit today, and we've also provided for you on our website, as well as a chart or organizer that students can be using as kind of a handy uh, one-stop shop to input all the aspects of the scholarships that they're going to be applying for and keeping all of those important little details about each of them um, organized for reference. So a chart and organizer we provided to you as well as some additional startup tools. These will all be available on our scholarships webpage to guide you and your family on your scholarship journey. On October 16th, Ms. Endicott and myself presented to interested students in the theater a scholarship information session. So we're going to look at some of the key components of that scholarship presentation now. And then I will also show you the file that we've created that contains, as mentioned, a number of local and national scholarships, and then that chart or organizer just as some tools to get you started. So some key points in your scholarship search. There are a number of terms that you can review in this presentation. Again, the PowerPoint is linked on our scholarship page. So there's some terms you can familiarize yourself with. There are several types of scholarships. We have a number of scholarships connected to each of these types within that file, which I will show you as we move forward in the presentation. So let's talk about a starting point. The biggest starting point for scholarship research is in fact researching about you. Your first task is going to be creating an activity-based resume that includes these components listed on the screen. And you can simply set up a resume that has a header for each of these particular components. So feel free to use this as your full guideline for creation of that resume. So that resume is going to showcase you as a volunteer, you as a learner, you as a community, involved individual, perhaps a church involved individual, um, and all of those interesting components that make you uh, a wonderful candidate for scholarships. Your second step following the building of the resume is to get two references uh, shoulder tapped, if you will, so letting two good references know well in advance of the first scholarship deadline what you are looking for from them and a simple, of course, polite request to see if they would be willing to be a reference for you. A good idea would be to give them your resume. Also have some scholarship criteria. Maybe you have five to ten scholarships itemized that require a reference letter or a reference at least to be on file for them. 
you'll provide them with your resume, the scholarship criteria, and you will ask, of course, for a copy of that letter. And it might be good to ask if you can use that letter uh, in, in situations that may arise in the future. Also, mining your family, mining your own workplace, seeking opportunities for scholarships within parents or grandparents, employers or organizations, parish councils, etc., and in students' own workplaces that may contain scholarship opportunities. So you're beginning the search for scholarships, and I'm going to show you our file that is jam-packed full of scholarships, local and national. Our Student Services tab, which I'm going to show you uh, today, contains the scholarship information fittingly under the scholarships uh, part of the tab there. The U of R, as well as the U of S and SAS Polytechnic all have some entrance scholarships and applicable scholarships. So this is just a little precursor to those uh, scholarship sites opening, but also just a reminder if you are applying to these institutions or others, there will be a number of scholarship opportunities connected to them that may require application, but some universities and schools may have um, what are called guaranteed entrance scholarships based upon your average. There are some scholarship databases, websites there that a simple Google search will yield. So we're going to show you ways to be organized, as mentioned, with the file, that, that little chart organizer, which is uh, a helpful little tool to use. As mentioned, we've created a Word file that lists scholarships alphabetically within it. There are also live links within this file. Most of the links we can guarantee work as we did an update of the links in the last several months. If you find that a link does not work, do a simple Google search of that scholarship and you will quite likely come across what that link was trying to get you to in the first place. So we apologize for that in advance, but we're confident that most of those live links work. So please take a look through this file. I'll show you where it's located on our scholarship site, but please take a look through this file as the scholarships that pass through our office, through our emails, across our desks, we take um, great consideration in planting them within this file so that students can have kind of a one-stop shop and find those scholarships in one kind of um, handy place. So this scholarship search is just simply going to involve you scrolling through and considering who you are as an applicant, reading through some of the criteria there, and seeing if these scholarships, any of them connect to you, and quite, quite a few of them quite likely will. Okay, so that is our file that contains scholarships. So that will be planted on our scholarship tab uh, under student services. So please take a look through it. There are a lot and it is alphabetically organized, but we think there'll be something that connects to just about everyone in here. So there you go. I also re referenced a chart or organizer, a very simple organizer that, that any student would quite likely create um, once they're taking a look at the numerous scholarships uh, that are available, but it's just a, a tool to use if you wish, but we will link it again on that scholarships tab. So what I've done here is I've just filled in a sample. This is just kind of a fictitious scholarship, but 
broken down the components of it and entered it into the chart here so that you don't get overwhelmed the number of scholarships you're applying for and all the little details associated with that scholarship. So you can put the title in where you're eventually going to have to send your um, scholarship application, what's required within that application, the deadline, the value, and um, when, you, when you actually submitted it. So just to kind of track that for yourself. So you can imagine if you identify your 1 to 10 to 20 scholarships that you're applying for, this is just a nice handy space or an option or an idea for you to start organizing those details in a chart. And, and just anything, any tool like this that can help you feel better about starting that search and getting that off the ground, we, we want, we're happy to, to kind of provide for you. So utilize this chart if you wish or create something similar to it. So a simple Google of Dr. Martin Lavoldis Catholic High School will bring you to our home page. And then you will simply click on student services for our little drop down menu. And if you scroll down just a little bit more, you'll see scholarship second from the bottom. So you just click there and then that will open up our scholarships page where the presentation that I showed you at the beginning, that file, that word file containing all of the scholarships, that lovely chart organizer, all of those tools will be linked right on this page. So student services, and then scholarships. So head there for all of the information that you need to apply for scholarships. Thank you for joining us as we launch our new scholarship webpage as a Lavolda Student Services Department. As mentioned, that scholarship search is a daunting one, but it is really worthwhile for students to undertake. We hope every student here at Lebaldus considers themselves a worthy applicant of scholarships and that students put themselves out there in a really good way uh, for consideration for scholarships. That is our hope. We also know that this is an important task for families to undertake. It is the responsibility, in fact, of families to, to take this kind of funding uh, exploration on, on their own. Student Services is happy to provide the tools to begin the search and to conduct the search. And we are also happy to answer any questions that you may have along the way. So best of luck. You can reach us at laboldusguidance at rcsd.ca or by calling the main office and act, asking to speak with somebody in student services. So good luck with your search. All the best to all students.